हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी बाइनरी सर्च टेक्निक वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट बाइनरी सर्च ऑन अ लिस्ट इफ द एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन द लिस्ट आर इन सॉर्टेड ऑर्डर सपोज वी हैव एन नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन अरे एंड अरे नेम इज ए देन ए ऑफ वन विल बी द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट A of two will be the second element. A of three will be the third element. Like that, A of n will be the last element. So we can say that in the given problem, A of i is the array where one is less than or equal to i, and i is less than or equal to n. Means suppose n is 10 then there will be 10 elements starting from 1 to 10 so first element will be at position 1 that is a of 1 second will be at position 2 that is a of 2 like that the last element will be at position 10 that is a of 10 and all the element in the list will be in increasing order so our given problem is to determine whether a given searching element is present in the list or not so from the list of elements which are in increasing order we can find whether a particular number is present or not by using binary search so this can be implemented by using divide and conquer strategy so suppose these are the given numbers which are in increasing order so there are 10 elements that is 2 6 7 10 17 18 23 27 29 and 33 so all these numbers are in increasing order and suppose we have to find whether the value 6 is present or not in the list so to apply divide and conquer strategy we can divide the problem in the smaller parts so to do so first we will divide the list in two parts for that we have to first find out the middle value and then we can compare the middle value with searching value so there are three possibilities in this particular task maybe middle value and searching value will be equal and if this is true then we got the searching number and if not then the searching number may be greater than or may be less than the middle value so as per our given inputs we will first find the middle value so to find the middle value just add the position of first element to position of last element and divide that by 2 so first position is 1 and last position is 10 so 10 plus 1 is 11 and then divide that by 2 so the answer is 5 so 5 is the middle position in our list so now we can compare the value present on middle position with searching value so on fifth position the value is 17 and 6 is less than 17 that means our searching number may be present below the middle value so now we can search our element below the middle position and we can remove the remaining elements from searching so this will be our new list where 1 is the 
first position and 4 is the last position. So searching element may be present in between these numbers. So now again we will find the middle position. So 1 plus 4 is 5 and 5 divided by 2 is 2. So on second position the value which is present is 6. So now 6 is equal to 6. That means the searching element is present in the list and it is present at position 2. Now we will take another example. So these are the elements and the element to be searched is 31. So again we will implement the same technique that is divide and conquer. So first we will find the middle value. So 1 plus 10 that is 11, 11 divided by 2 is 5. So on fifth position the value which is present is 17. So we will compare searching number with middle value. So 31 and 17 we will compare. So 31 is greater than 17 that means our searching element may be present after the middle value and till the last value. So our new array will be starting from 6th position to 10th position. So our first value now will be 6 and the last value that is last position will be 10. So again we will find the middle value. So first position is 6 and last is 10. So 6 plus 10 that is 16 and 16 divided by 2 is 8. So on 8th position the value is 27. So now 27 will be compared with 31 that is searching number. So again 31 is greater than 27 that means our number searching number may be present after the middle value. So now the new array will be starting from 9th position and the last value will be 10th position. So the middle value that is first position and last position 9 plus 10 that is 19 and 19 divided by 2 is 9. So on the 9th position the value which is present is 29. So now we will compare 31 with 29. So 31 is greater than 29. So the new array will be there is only one element. So now the starting value is also 10 and the last value is also 10. So the mid value will be 10 plus 10 then divided by 2 that is 10 and then the last value we will compare with the searching value. If both the numbers are equal then the element is present in the list else the element searching element is not present. So 31 is less than 33 that means even the last number is not present in the list. So there is no element present that is 31 is not present in the list. So now we will take another example. So these are the numbers and suppose we try to find out searching number that is 70. So first we will find the middle position. So first position is 1 and the last is 10. So 1 plus 10 that is 11 and 11 divided by 2 is 5. So on the middle position the value which is stored is 17 and then we will compare that value with the searching number. So 17 will be compared with 17. So 17 is equal to 17 that means 
the value is present in the list and it is at fifth position so in this way we can find the searching element by using binary search and for that binary search we can use divide and conquer strategy